Let's see. see. I'm coming for holidays. How about school? What are you doing in school? I'm fine. I'm preparing for my international general certificate of secondary examination. IGCX exam. Stay of my school, 49 school. Number 16 Udon Sorry, Piano Fort. Wow, let's go in. Tell me more about this school. Fortune schools comprises Craig, Nazareth primary and secondary classes. We have standard facilities for both boarding and day students. We have God-fearing teachers, motivated and highly qualified. We impact godly character into the life of children. Admission is in progress into their both classes. Interested candidates can pick the forms in the school's admission office from Mondays through Fridays between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. each day. Second entrance examination date, 10th October 2020. Third entrance examination date, 24th October 2020. For more inquiries, please call 080-270-25262. We for two school! We for two school! Fortune Schools, excellence through hard work. The life and times of late Madame Elizabeth Patrick Umor cannot be overemphasized or completely captured in one moment. To her children, she was a perfect mother who took care of both her children and other people's children, including every other person who came her way. To villagers, Mama was very hospitable, ever ready to open her doors to everyone. To the church, she was a saint who has gone to be with her creator. Since the good book has already stated that there is a time to be born and a time Time to die. And a time for every happening under heaven. A time for giving birth. A time for dying. A time for planting. A time for losing. A time for tears. A time for laughter. A time for mourning. A time a time for loving, a time for hating, a time for war, a time for peace. Mama has finished her job here on earth and gone to join the host of heavens. The burial ceremony which took place at St. Joseph's Catholic Church, Okane, in a Sinodum local government area on Tuesday, 6th October 2020, had in attendance prominent sons of the state, including member representing Ikot Ekbene, a Sinodum Obodakara federal constituency, Right Honorable Nsikakekong, member Akwaibum State House of Assembly, Barista Eseo Moore, Chairman Ibumpa Plan, Engineer Itinyang, Chairman Ritman University, Senator Emmanuel Iborisien, Commissioner for Trade and Investment, Prince Akpabio, and Mr. Incentive Akpabio, amongst others. The first Bible reading was taken by the son of the deceased, Mr. Victor Umor. In his message, the preacher, Reverend Father Gerald Akata, admonished the congregation and Christians to live their lives in accordance with the will of God and reminded them of the Beatitudes of Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 to 12. The answer is found in St. Matthew's Gospel, the passage on the Beatitudes that we read at this funeral mass. The Beatitudes in the Gospel tell who is happy or blessed and why. Poor in spirit, those who mourn, the meek, those who thirst for righteousness, the merciful, the clean of heart, the peacemakers. 
those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, these, the Beatitudes, are the key to a happy life and why. According to the during the service, hymns, praises, and thanksgiving were rendered unto God. of the chief mourner, Dr. Peter Moore, and well-wishers who turned up to support the entire bereaved family include Reverend Father Imobot, Father Kenis Ebo, Father Anselm Etokokban, Reverend Father James Esiet, Father John Ebebe, Father Patrick Akpabio, Father Daniel Inyangito, and Reverend Monsaino Peter Inyangito. Others include the clan head of Okana East, Chief Patrick Idio, village head of Ikorotok Abum Toniesu, and a host of others. The interment took place immediately at the deceased family compound as the remains of late Madame Elizabeth Patrick Moore, who died at the age of 83, was committed to Mother Earth. Uh, my late mother was a very loving and tender-hearted woman. Loves her children, did the house chaos almost by herself. Everything she thought she was a success. She was a great mother, a loving mother. The sister was a very good woman. A woman that accommodated people outside her own siblings. She was a nice woman. And that tells about the family as a whole. And I, I pray that God should uh, give the children enough to at least take over from the mother. So that there will be no gap in between. She was a good woman, a good woman of God, generous mother, who opened the doors of her house to everybody. A good woman that took care of us, she trained us, trained even outsiders. She did not care whether you are a child or not. A perfect woman, even in the society, she was good. In the church, she was good. As a mother, she was good. She was a good woman.